Have you ever heard about the stomach bacteria? It is called Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori. It resides in your stomach. It is very common because it is found in 50% of the earth population. But most of the time, it doesn't cause any symptoms or illnesses. So we don't have to treat it unless you start having symptoms. I will mainly discuss the treatment in this video. She's, why are you, are you afraid? Are you yeah, sick? I'm afraid of your question. What's the stomach bacteria? I don't know. <laughs> it, you, the stomach bacteria. Few people with H. pylori develop symptoms or problems like heartburn or even an ulcers in the stomach. So they start having recurrent symptoms like belching, nausea, or pain in the upper belly. Unfortunately, having symptoms from these bacteria for a long time can increase the risk of stomach cancer if it was left untreated. But not all the stomach ulcers are caused by H. pylori bacteria. So it is very important to do a test to confirm the presence of this infection. We normally do a breath test called UBT, urea breath test, or a stool test. Another option is to take a biopsy from the stomach during an upper endoscopy. On the other hand, doing a blood test is not accurate in discovering an active or current infection by H. pylori. What about the treatment? The treatment is only for people who are having symptoms. Most people need to take two or three antibiotics to get rid of this bacteria. One of the regimens we use is to give a combination of two antibiotics together, like Amoxil, Clacid, Flagyl, or Tavanic. But it was found that there is an increasing resistance by H. pylori with this regimen and some treatment failure. So nowadays, it is recommended to treat it by giving a combination of three antibiotics together which can be anyone from the prior antibiotics regimen. Or another option is to give a new medicine called Pylera. This one has three antibiotics in one single pill, which contain tetracycline, flagyl, and bismuth together. This regimen has better cure rate than the two antibiotics alone. All these antibiotics regimens must be taken for at least 10 to 14 days and it should be combined with a probiotic as well as a PPI, which is a medicine to reduce the acid production from the stomach. It is expected that a lot of patients might have some side effects while taking these antibiotics, like stomach upset, nausea, and diarrhea. So it is preferred to take them after meal and not on an empty stomach. Once you finish the treatment, we recommend repeating the breath test after one month to make sure that the infection is resolved. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. Please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.